Ian has been researching and developing color e-paper technology for over a decade now, with limited success so far. But that might finally change in 2023 and could even be the next step in the e-reading world with at least seven real color ink e-readers on the way. Ten years ago, Ink Triton made it into consumer electronic products as the first ink color screen technology, but didn't convince customers. Colors were washed out and the display itself was pretty dark, even when using the front light. In the last three years, Ink made the second push with Ink Kaleido. That screen technology works on the same basic principle as Triton did over a decade ago. On top of the black and white Ink screen sits an RGB layer, which helps to produce up to 4096 colors. This is done by selectively darkening the Ink screen underneath and leave individual RGB pixels untouched for them to reflect more light than the surrounding darkened pixels. While it works much better than Ink Triton did, it has the same basic downsides, washed out colors and more importantly, a worse readability for normal text. With Ink Gallery 3, this finally changes. In contrast to Ink Kaleido, Ink Gallery 3 is using colored microcapsules to produce a colored image. So it works on the same principle as regular black and white ink cutter displays we all know from Kindle, Kobo and pretty much any e-reader currently on the market. There's no additional RGB layer on top of the Ink Gallery 3 screen because the colors are directly produced by the screen itself. It uses cyan, magenta, yellow and white ink particles to produce over 50,000 colors. As a result, readability and resolution are better than on Kaleido, like on this advanced color e-paper display I have here with me, which is an Ink Gallery Palette 4000 screen. It's not exactly the same as Gallery 3, but it already shows so much more promise than the other Ink color technologies I have seen so far. So why I'm telling you all of this? Well, the Ink Holding has issued a press release which said Ink Gallery 3 finally went into mass production and also named seven companies to adopt the new technology going forward. That means we're going to see at least seven different e-readers and tablets with Ink Gallery 3 displays from the following companies in 2023. BigMe, Books, iFlytech, iReader, Pocketbook, Readmo, and AOC. BigMe already launched a Kickstarter campaign a couple of weeks ago and will most likely ship the Ink Gallery 3 tablet around March 2023. Pocketbook also announced a new e-reader with Gallery 3 for the same time frame yesterday. It will be named Viva and also uses an 8-inch color display. The other companies haven't announced their products just yet, but I guess Onyx Books will be the next in line as they were also one of the first ones to adopt Ink Kaleido. However, there's one catch. Ink Gallery 3 devices seem to get pretty expensive. The Big Miguelis MSRP is $700. The Pocketbook Vivo will launch at the price point of 600 euros. So I fully expect all other companies to launch their products in the price range between 500 and 800 dollars. And I doubt we will see a cheaper Gallery 3 e-reader in 2023. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to see the push of this new technology because I believe this might open the door for the next generation of e-readers. But as always, let's wait and see how this first generation of consumer-ready, real-color ink technology will do in everyday use. What do you think about this development? Will you buy a first-generation device at the high price point, or will you wait for the next generation and the lower price? Or will you skip color e-readers altogether and stick with your black and white model? Subscribe to the channel to not miss my reviews of these new e-readers when they are released. And please also consider leaving a thumbs up. Thanks for your time watching and see you on the next one.